Hi there. Welcome to Sacrificial Love, where we study the Bible and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, we are diving into a gripping and thought-provoking story from the book of Judges in the Bible. It's the tale of Jephthah the Gileadite, a man of great courage, tragic vows, and profound lessons. Let's journey through Judges chapter 11 in the World English Bible version and uncover the timeless truths embedded in this Bible story. Feel free to follow along in the Bible version you prefer. I'll be commenting along the way as we read the Bible text. We begin with the background of Jephthah, a mighty warrior with a complicated past. And I read, Now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of a prostitute. Gilead became the father of Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore him sons. When his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You will not inherit in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and lived in the land of Tob. Outlaws joined up with Jephthah and went out with him. After a while, the children of Ammon made war against Israel. When the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah out of the land of Tob. They said to Jephthah, Come and be our chief, that we may fight with the children of Ammon. Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, Didn't you hate me and drive me out of my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in distress? Note here that despite being rejected by his family, Jephthah's strength and leadership did not go unnoticed. In times of trouble, the elders of Gilead sought his help. Let's continue reading. The elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, Therefore we have turned again to you now, that you may go with us and fight with the children of Ammon. You will be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, if you bring me home again to fight with the children of Ammon, and Yahweh delivers them before me, will I be your head? The elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, Yahweh will be witness between us. Surely we will do as you say. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and chief over them. Jephthah spoke all his words before Yahweh in Mizpah. Let me interject here again. Jephthah's acceptance of the leadership role marked a turning point. He negotiated terms and was appointed leader, but his journey was far from over. Let's continue reading. Then Yahweh's spirit came onto Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead and Manasseh, and passed over Mizpah of Gilead. And from Mizpah of Gilead, he passed over to the children of Ammon, Jephthah vowed a vow to Yahweh and said, If you will indeed deliver the children of Ammon into my hand, then it shall be that whatever comes out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon, it shall be Yahweh's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. Let me comment here before we continue. Note that in his desperation and zeal, Jephthah made a hasty vow to God, one that would lead to unexpected and heartbreaking consequences. What heartbreaking consequences, I hear you ask? Let's continue reading to find out. So Jephthah passed over to the children of Ammon to fight against them, and Yahweh delivered them into his hand. He struck them from Aror until you come to Mineth, even twenty cities, and to Abel Cheramim, with a very great slaughter. So the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. Hey, do you enjoy watching this video? Then give me a like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Jephthah came to Mizpah, to his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with tambourines and with dances. She was his only child. Besides her, he had neither son nor daughter. When he saw her, he tore his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, you have brought me very low, and you are one of those who trouble me, for I have opened my mouth to Yahweh, and I can't go back. Little brick here. Wow. 
premium tears. Jephthah's joy of victory turned to sorrow as he realized the gravity of his vow. His only daughter, his beloved child, was the first to greet him. I feel so bad for Jephthah. Let's continue reading. She said to him, My father, you have opened your mouth to Yahweh. Do to me according to that which has proceeded out of your mouth, because Yahweh has taken vengeance for you on your enemies, even on the children of Ammon. She said to her father, Let this thing be done for me. Leave me alone two months that I may depart and go down on the mountains and bewail my virginity, I and my companions. He said, Go! He sent her away for two months and she departed, she and her companions, and wept on her virginity on the mountains. At the end of two months, she returned to her father, who did with her according to his vow, which he had vowed. She was a virgin. It became a custom in Israel that the daughters of Israel went yearly to celebrate the daughter of Jephthah, the Gileadite, four days in a year. And that is the word of the Lord. Wow, what a read, huh? In my neck of the woods, we say, Nikam and Lama Nikam and Vindio. Loosely translated, it's like a movie. But no, this is not Hollywood. It actually did happen. So, what can we learn from the story of Jephthah? Allow me to highlight a few lessons. One, be careful with our words. Jephthah's hasty vow led to unnecessary tragedy. We must be mindful and deliberate with our promises and commitments. 2. God's sovereignty. Despite our flaws and mistakes, God's will prevails. Jephthah's victory over the Ammonites was due to God's intervention. 3. Acceptance of responsibility. Jephthah's daughter demonstrated a remarkable acceptance of her fate, teaching us to face our circumstances with grace and courage. 4. The power of forgiveness and reconciliation. The elders of Gilead sought Jephthah despite their past rejection. Reconciliation and seeking help can lead to great outcomes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the story of Jephthah. May we all learn and grow from these ancient yet timeless lessons. Hey, do you want to watch more Bible stories like this? Yes, of course I do. Then check out my playlist at the end of this video or linked above. Also, check out my channel for other videos that will help you grow in your Christian journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories from the Bible. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.